Hi, this is Chef Paul coming from Gulf Coast State College and welcome to another episode of Chef's Corner. Today we're going to be going over a classic, classic salad. We're going to be doing Caesar salad. Now, where do you think the Caesar salad comes from? Italy? Maybe? No, you'd be wrong. Similar language though, Caesar salad actually comes to us by way of Tijuana, Mexico. Back during Prohibition when people would travel down to Mexico to be able to legally imbibe, there was a restaurant chef by the name of Cesar Cardini. He was from Chicago and he opened a restaurant in Tijuana. Well, one night as he's running out of food, he comes and puts together this amazing set of ingredients to come up with, well, what we now have is a classic salad. So let's talk about the ingredients. They're pretty simple. We're gonna start with salt, some chopped up garlic, anchovies. You have to have anchovies in a Caesar salad. It's non-negotiable. Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, which by the way is made from fermented anchovies, two coddled eggs, and a coddled egg is basically an egg that's been partially cooked, hard boiled for only two to three minutes. This gives us an egg that has reached its pasteurization point, so it's safe to eat. Lemon juice, a little bit of white balsamic vinegar, though any vinegar you can have, you can use a nice apple cider vinegar works great for this. Some of that wonderful Parmesan Reggiano cheese, extra virgin olive oil. And you notice it's nice and green. That's what you want to look for. And it's really important with your olive oil that you store it away from direct sunlight and away from any heat source. And then finally, our romaine lettuce. All right, got it? So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a pinch of salt, a little more than a pinch of salt, into the bottom of our bowl. And then we're going to add our chopped garlic. And for this, you'll notice I'm using a couple of forks, and I've got this nice wooden bowl. The wooden bowl we use in the restaurant when we do these table side, it tends to be a little easier to get the flavors from the garlic to mash out, but you can use a metal bowl if you like. We're going to add some garlic down into the bottom, and then we're going to use our two forks and mash it together. And what it's going to do is that salt acts like a little bit of sandpaper, and it actually is going to help us get these oils out of the garlic and onto the pan. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our anchovies, and we're going to take about four or five of these little fillets. Now, if you don't want to use the little fillets, you can actually buy anchovy paste in the grocery store already in a tube. So we're just gonna add some of these, and yes, I know they're fish, but you have to have these. That's the classic flavor of a Caesar salad. It comes from the addition of our anchovies. We'll get that one to drop in there. And we're gonna take our forks, and we're actually gonna use the tines of the forks to mash the anchovies into a paste. Again, you're more than welcome to use anchovy paste out of a tube. It works just fine. But what's gonna happen is we're gonna mash these and you're not even gonna notice them in there anymore. After we've added the anchovies, our next ingredient, and you can see we've got this all nice and mashed together into a paste, our next ingredient is gonna be a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And today we're gonna be using about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce and we're going to be using about a tablespoon and a half of Dijon mustard. The mustard helps bind this all together. And back to our forks and now you can notice it's starting to make a little bit of a sauce and boy if you could be here you could smell how wonderful this smells. Our next ingredients are going to be our coddled eggs. Again, these are partially cooked, so we're going to tap it on the table and open them up, and you'll notice that they're, the white is partially cooked, and that tells us that we've reached that pasteurization stage so that the eggs are safe to eat. Add those eggs in there, and then we're going to stir this together. Now, the important thing is that the egg contains an important ingredient. That ingredient is called lecithin. Lecithin will help make our emulsion and help bind 
when we put our vinegar and oil in here. So we've got our eggs in there. We've got our um, last two ingredients. We're going to take a squeeze of lemon juice. Now, you notice the lemon's got a little hat on it. This helps it keep any seeds from going in. And just a squeeze. It's about a half a teaspoon. And then we're also going to use about a half a teaspoon to a full teaspoon, tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. So now we're going to start drizzling our olive oil in. And what's going to happen is we're just creating a sauce. Basically, a classic vinaigrette is simply one part vinegar and three parts olive oil. This one's going to have a little bit more olive oil, and if you can look in this bowl, you can see that it's actually thickening up. And you can take it as thick as you want. We've got a beautiful sauce. You can see that it's got nice and thick to it. Next, we're going to add our romaine lettuce. And I've cut the romaine lettuce into bite-sized chunks. Now we're going to take our handy-dandy tongs and simply turn our salad into it. Okay. The next ingredient is going to be our Parmesan cheese. Nice shredded. Again, get a block of cheese and shred it yourself over top. At this point, you could add croutons if you wanted to. A little more cheese. Never hurts to have too much cheese. Grab your plate. You don't really want it dripping wet, but each leaf should have a nice little bit of salad on it. And there we have classic Caesar salad. Thanks a bunch. Make sure to look for us next time.